That is such a gorgeous view. And then you turn around to this ghetto hot mess. It's you running through my veins. Your love runs through my veins. Good morning, family. So, we have arrived at Fort Carson. And I'm going to give you guys a really quick, trust me, you're going to see why it's going to be quick, empty house store. Well, not really empty because we do have stuff in it. Like all of our stuff is here. It's just still in boxes. So don't judge us. We don't really live like this. It's just we're unpacking. But I'm going to give you the house tour. So let's go. All right. So once you come in the back gate, which is pretty much like the front because that's where the cars are parked, so you most frequently use this entrance. But this is our backyard. Um, comes with the shed. The two trash cans, one for recycling, one for regular garbage, and then it has the two laundry posts, if you so choose. Like, it's a decent size backyard. Like, it's decent. But you can't really enjoy it because smells like dog poop and how many dogs do we own you ask zero but you know how it works with neighbors so going through the back gate back gate the back door you are greeted by the basement door that's my husband and my kids wrestling in the background but go down to the basement now don't judge us we just got here but this is all the boxes that I have to go through and unpack and over in this little corner over there that is all my husband's military junk I don't got nothing to do with that it's all him right there and then it comes with like this um, counter in here, which I'm basically just gonna be using, taking over for like all of my soap stuff, doing that there. And then maybe like set up a table here along this wall because that is the only outlet in this basement that I've noticed, aside from the ones for the washer and dryer. So I would set up a table here that I can like pack orders, make the soap on, all that good stuff when the counter is going to be preoccupied with like the microwave and the mixers and all that good stuff. So, soap corner. And then a washer and dryer. So, this is our basement. Pretty decent sized basement. All right, and then as we come up from the basement, here's the kitchen. It's like an eating kitchen, so this area here would be our dining room. Um, that is our dining room set, but the movers lost the screws. They disassembled our dining room table and then lost the screws so that we could put our dining room table back together. So now we have to get new screws, which, side note. Can I just say to moving companies, like, let's think about this. Why do you disassemble stuff if you're gonna lose stuff and then we can't reassemble what you disassembled? Like, it doesn't, never, it doesn't make sense. But back to the kitchen. Lots of counter space, lots of cabinets. Um, I got a organize our cereal and stuff. But again, don't judge us. We just got in here. Um, but that organization video is for another day. This is our kitchen. And here is my favorite part. We have a gas stove. When we were at Stewart, it was all electric everywhere and I hated it. This, look at that, fire. I have never been so happy to see fire. 
but gas stove. Love it. So then, leaving the kitchen. Why are they screaming? <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. This is our living room. Which is again not set up. There's a whole bunch of boxes places. Um that's like a king size mattress that was supposed to go upstairs in our master bedroom, but it's too big for the size of what the master bedroom is supposed to be. So we got to try to figure out where to put that because I don't even think it'll get down in the basement. Oh, but I so wish we could have used that. But this is the living room. This is like the best part of it, this little decorative piece they have here is the best part. I know. Let's go. Go downstairs. Yeah, I'm ready. You want to start over? Look, and I ain't gonna teach them. No matter of fact, time time. Look, you're ready. Let me know when you're ready. I press start. You ain't get yeah, you ready. 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 Go, go. Lift it up like I've been doing. Lift it up like Alright. So, my husband's got the boys doing manual labor. So, we're just going to leave them to that. And then, off the living room is the coat closet. Um, open. Oh, goodness. Since we put on our coats. And all my husband's 50 million shoes. And then we have the half bath. Best thing about it is the mirror. But yes, this is our half bathroom for downstairs. And as y'all can see, center block walls. A lot of the rooms in this house, cinder block walls. I don't know what their obsession was with it, but cinder block. All right, let's see if they cleared the steps. And we're going upstairs. Yes. Going up the steps. So the first room we come to is Theo's. This is the smallest room of all three. Um, his mattress just came. Yes. You say you want to help? Yeah. All right, check out the bag. Check out the box. <laughs> all right, the, Theo's about to unbox his mattress. But this is his room. It's a pretty decent size, seeing as how this is the first time he's had his own room. <laughs> what kind of room are you going to have, Theo? A dinosaur room. A dinosaur room. <laughs> you the box. And turning our linen closet. And the one full bath. Uh, gotta get like a proper shower curtain. It's here. Then I was doing laundry this morning, so don't mind all the clothes on the bed. Um, this is the master bedroom, and it may not seem like much of a master. <laughs> But when we talked to the leasing office, they confirmed that this is the biggest room of all three. And you can tell that it's the master because it has a ceiling fan. 
That is what designates it as the master is because of the ceiling fan. It's awesome. So downstairs, that bed I showed y'all, that was a Cali, California King. But since it won't fit up here, it won't have much space. We had to go to a good old queen. But oh, I wish that bed fit up here. And then it comes with two closets, which let me back up so y'all can see the proper size. Two of these same size closets. Look out to another closet. Wait. I have no idea what we're going to do with this closet. So yeah, just random closet. And then Tom Tom's room. Again, cinder block walls. You get the same closet as Theo. How do you like your room, Tom Tom? Good. And what kind of room are you going to have? This one. Yeah, I know this one, but I mean, what decoration? Black Panther. Black Panther room. It's going to be awesome. All right, let me, so looking out the window, this is what the front of the houses look like, not much to really look at, <laughs> um, like they call these complexes the ghetto and I see why, because the people Treat it like the ghetto. They don't care. Be babies running all around outside and nothing but a pamper. Just, they don't ever pick up after their dog, so it just smells like poop. Like they just. Cool. Come in. All right, excuse me, darling. But all right, guys, that brings us to the end. Like I said, it was going to be real short, sweet, to the point, because we, it's not really that much space, it's not a lot to show. So, that is the end of the house tour. And I know, like, I was talking like a bunch of, Tom Tom, really? <laughs> Don't you have something to go do? Please go do it. No, we don't have anything. I feel like you do. But yeah, I know I was talking like a lot of trash about this place, but I mean, it's just, uh, just dealing with other people, like for us, certain things seem like common sense. Like if your dog goes to the bathroom outside, you pick it up and you throw it out so that the backyard doesn't smell. But our neighbors on both sides have dogs and neither one of them got that memo. So now all the backyards <laughs> smell like crap. So I mean, I'm still gonna make it do what it do, like we will survive, but it's just certain things. But you know, I was watching Peach uh, McIntyre's channel and she made a very good point. It's not about where you live, it's how you live. So I'm just gonna live the clean lifestyle that I'm used to living and then hopefully it'll just like spread to the neighbors and then they'll want to live that way too but okay <laughs> please make sure you like comment share subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one